Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 2019 AFL Round 9 Tips and Predictions. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first game that we're starting off with is West Coast versus Melbourne. Obviously West Coast definitely hurt a lot of Melbourne supporters, you know, their fans. Definitely, like, they really hurt them. I mean, like, in that qualifying, I mean, in the preliminary final, obviously, it was definitely a bad loss by Melbourne. It's definitely... Not one that they wanted. But, you know, West Coast were definitely the best team in that final series and would go on to win the grand final. I'm saying this because I definitely know that Melbourne fans want their revenge. And I definitely think that, you know, even though they want their revenge, I'm sorry, Melbourne fans, but I just don't believe you're going to be able to win this. I do believe that West Coast should grab the win at Optus. I think they will grab it comfortably. I mean, West Coast really want to, you know, get into that top four and really prove themselves that they can get back. They haven't had a really good start to the year, but I'm sure they can get things back on track. But, you know, I think that they should get the win comfortably. And, you know, Melbourne season hasn't been that good so far. But, you know, they're definitely starting to get better, I would say. And I think that I don't, I'm still trying to figure out what went wrong with Melbourne. I don't really know. If you're a Melbourne fan, please comment in the comment section down below what went wrong. So I'm still trying to figure it out. I mean, none of the AFL journalists have really even talked about what's the main problem wrong with Melbourne. They're just all out here saying how bad Melbourne are and all that stuff. But they never really give a reason of why they're bad. So yeah, I definitely like to hear your thoughts and opinions down below, Melbourne fans. Definitely comment about that. But yeah, for all the West Coast fans out there, I do believe that you guys should get the win and will get the win comfortably. Anyway, the next one we have is Collingwood versus St. Kilda. The rivalry, obviously, it's a pretty big rivalry in the AFL now. I'd probably say it's one of St. Kilda's only rivalries that they actually have. I mean, nearly every team in the AFL hates Collingwood now. Let's all be honest here. They all have that rivalry with Collingwood. Um, but, you know, it's at the MCJ. St. Kilda have had a relatively good start to the season. They've been pretty good, but Collingwood want to cement themselves in that top four. I think they want to just prove everyone that they're, a, you know, they're going to, they're a contender. And I don't think, sorry, St. Kilda fans, but, you know, I just don't think they're really going to want to drop easy matches, which they should win like this. But you know what, St. Kilda, they, they probably want to stay on track. I wouldn't be surprised if St. Kilda tried their hardest to absolutely try and pull off a miracle here and somehow beat Collingwood at the MCG. I don't know if that's going to be really likely, so I will be tipping in Colling to, um, Collingwood to win. And like West Coast versus Melbourne, I do believe Collingwood should win, and quite comfortably. Anyway, the next one we have is Brisbane versus Adelaide. Obviously, another really great game. Both teams want to make the 8. Both teams, you know, borderline on the 8 right now. It's at the Gabba, and I think both teams most likely. I think Brisbane will probably make the 8. I mean... They, I don't really know, to be honest. I think Adelaide and Brisbane, they're either going to make the 8 or they're going to finish 9th to 12th. I think that they're both, a, can, they're both a contending team too, getting the 8. But this one is at the Gabba. And if it was at Adelaide State, um, Adelaide's Oval, I probably would say that Adelaide are most likely going to win this one. But, you know, I'm still on that hype train for Brisbane. And I do believe that Brisbane will get the win against Adelaide. But you never really know anymore in the AFL. But as I said, it is at the Gabba. So the Brisbane Lions should get the win. Um, but who really knows? As I said, if it was at Adelaide, I'd probably say Adelaide should get the win. Anyway, the next one we have is Geelong versus Bulldogs at GMHBA. Like West Coast versus Melbourne and Collingwood versus St. Kilda. I do believe that Geelong should get this win and should get it quite comfortably. I do still believe that Western Bulldogs will finish probably 12th to 18th. I just don't really know. I know a lot of their fans are holding out hopes they can contend or somewhat just finish outside of the 8. I think that's just what they really want. But as I said, I do believe that it's like GMHBA. I just can't see Geelong really dropping this game. And yeah, they definitely shouldn't. As I said for Collingwood, pretty much, they shouldn't be dropping easy games, these two teams, if they want to try and contend and prove themselves that they belong in the top four in this competition. So that's why I say Geelong should win this game, and that's why I'm tipping them. Anyway, the next one we have is Essendon versus Freo at Marvel. Both teams are, you know, both teams, I think, will make the eight. Both teams are definitely, or will, pretty much the same similar situation of Brisbane and Adelaide, I think. It'll either be one or two out of these four teams that do make the A. I think Brisbane, Essendon, and Adelaide are the clear best three for me. I think I would eliminate Adelaide from there. So, I mean, I don't know if, what did I say. Brisbane, Fremantle, Essendon, I meant to say. I don't think Adelaide are really, you know, in that top four 
those uh, out of those four teams. So I would say, you know, I would probably take those three over Adelaide. So I think I most likely will be out of those three to one or two of them will make the eight. But who really knows? But yeah, it is at Marvel Stadium. Frio, you know, they've had a relatively easy draw playing at Optus Stadium for a majority of their games. And they seem to play pretty well down there. Um, well, pretty well there and just, you know, got a good grip on things and how that ground works and how they can run it a lot better than other grounds. So I think that, you know, Essendon, and this is probably one of going to be one of their only games they play at Marvel for the year. I do I do believe, though, even it, though it is still at Victoria, I do believe that Essendon should still get the win. I just don't see Fremantle coming on top with this one. I don't really know why. I just think that Essendon should get the win for this one. Anyway, the next one we have is North Melbourne versus Sydney. Going to be definitely a really interesting game because for both of these teams, I do believe they should be 12 to 18. But this is actually at Bloodstone Arena, which I believe is at Tasmania. And we all know it's North Melbourne usually play pretty well there. So it definitely is going to be a hard one for me to decide. But, you know, I'd probably back in North Melbourne to win. I don't know. I think it's going to definitely be a close one, but I do think North Melbourne should get the win at the Swans at, um, at Tasmania. Anyway, for the next one we have is Port Adelaide versus Gold Coast. I think that, you know, Gold Coast to get those, you know, couple wins is still pretty decent, but I still believe that Port Adelaide should make the A this year. I don't see why they wouldn't. I mean, it's at Adelaide Oval, so sorry to the few fans that Gold Coast, you know, have. I don't know how many of you guys watch my videos. I don't think I've ever really seen a Gold Coast fan in my comments, but, you know, there are some out there. I don't know if I've ever, I think I've seen one or two in person, but if you see, if you go to Queensland, I'm sure there's still some out there, and I think that, you know, those Gold Coast fans are sick of being on Rebuild and stuff like that, but I think this has been a progressive year, and I think that, even though I think that they're going to get the loss against Port Adelaide, I believe that it has still been a progressive year, and there's a lot of positives to look at if you're one of those few Gold Coast fans out there, because, yeah, definitely had a lot more wins than a lot of people thought you were going to have. I definitely know at least one person that thought they were going to have zero wins, so... Yeah, I would say good on Gold Coast for doing that. But yeah, Port Adelaide should get the win comfortably at their home ground of Adelaide Oval. Anyway, the next one we have is Richmond versus Hawthorne at the MCG. Now, a lot of you guys are probably thinking this is actually going to be a very um, close game. And you know what? It might actually be. But from the past, Richmond seemed to smash Hawthorne. I mean, in the final, Richmond beat Hawthorne pretty comfortably. And they got a good record against them. And as a Richmond fan, I definitely know we can definitely beat Hawthorne. But, yeah, I do believe Hawthorne want to keep their top eight chances alive or even, you know, the top four chances alive. So, I definitely want to come and get the win. But, you know, I just think Richmond will be too strong for Hawthorne at the MCG. And I do believe Richmond will get the win. Anyway, finally, the last one that we have is GWS versus Carlton, I believe, at Giant Stadium. And I think... Colton fans are definitely going into this one with a lot of belief. I mean, you know, Colton fans, I'm pretty sure, have a pretty good record against GWS and have probably beat, you know, that's in the past couple of years, GWS is the team that they've probably beat more than other teams. So I definitely think there is a massive chance that Colton could actually come away with this one. If it was at the MCG, I'm almost willing to tip Colton, not going to lie, but it is a giant stadium and I just think, you know, they're going to be too strong. I do think that, you know, Carlton are finally showing some positive stuff with their young players. I mean, 2018, I don't think they showed enough positives. 2019, they've showed a couple here and there. Definitely a lot more than probably 2018 and 17. But, yeah, I think that it would be a pretty big statement if Carlton came out and won this one. But, you know, I think GWS needs to get this win, which should be relatively easy. And, you know, keep themselves in top four or, you know, top four contention. So, yeah, I do believe that GWS should get and win this one. But who really knows what can happen anymore? I know a couple of Carlton fans that are definitely holding hope that they can definitely win this one. So, it will be definitely really interesting to watch this game. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment in the comment section down below. What are your tips and predictions for this week? Don't forget to also maybe put a comment on my tips and predictions. Do you agree with me or not? I'd definitely really like to know. Also, comment in the comment section down below if you're a Melbourne supporter. Can you please tell me and other people what really went wrong? Because, like, I'm sick of commentators, and I think you guys would agree, Melbourne supporters. 
I think we're sick of commentators just saying Melbourne are so bad and all of this stuff, but don't really have an actual reason why they're bad. It's just like, you know, they just don't care. They're just like, oh, they're bad or whatever. You know, they, they don't actually give a reason, you know, to back their idea up of why they're bad. So I would definitely like to hear that, guys, if you're, you know, a Melbourne fan. Definitely would really like to know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, MRI Roll Slash Vlog Channel. Link in the description down below. It'd be really appreciative if you guys could please leave a like and give a couple of the videos a watch. And even comment in the comment sections on those videos. What do you guys think of them? It'd definitely be really awesome to get the feedback. Also, don't forget, basically, pretty much to subscribe to this channel. We do weekly tips and predictions videos. So, yeah, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.